Hi, in this video, we are going to work out this indefinite integral. So let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. So we have x times the fifth root of the quantity x plus 1 squared. So what we're going to do first is maybe think about this a different way. So notice that the fifth root of the quantity x plus 1 squared can be written as the quantity x plus 1 to the 2 over 5. Okay, and you can think of this, okay, you can think of this as the quantity x plus 1 to the 1 fifth squared. Okay, so I'm going to let u be this entire thing here. So we're going to set u to be equal to x plus 1 to the 1 fifth. And now in order to find our du, we have to differentiate this. But that's a problem because of the 1 fifth, it's ugly. So what we can do first is raise everything to the fifth power. So u to the fifth is equal to x plus 1, right? Because when you take x plus 1 to the 1 fifth and you raise it to the fifth power, what happens? You get x plus 1, 1 fifth times 5, right? That's the properties of exponents. Boom, and that's just 1. So you just get x plus 1, right? So that... That's how we got x plus 1, right? Raising, raising this whole thing to the fifth power uh, and using properties of exponents. So we need a couple more things. We need, we need dx, okay? And we also need x. So to get x, we can solve this. So x is equal to u to the fifth minus 1. I'm going to underline that. That's important, okay? I'm going to underline that. That's important. And then we just need to differentiate this. Applying the power rule and differentiating both sides using what's called differential notation. Bring down the 5. So note 5u to the 4th is equal to dx. Because you bring down that, oh, du. So you bring down that 5, subtract 1 from the exponent, so you get 5u to the 4th du. The derivative of x is just dx. Derivative of 1 is 0. All right, so now we're in a good place. Uh, so now we're ready to make the substitution. So I'm going to write down the original integral. We have the indefinite integral of x times the fifth root of the quantity x plus 1 squared dx. This is equal to, so I'm going to leave some space here. So x is u to the fifth minus 1. We know that. Okay. We also know, okay, we also know that this piece here, okay, is equal to this, right? That's this piece here. So it's equal to this, but that's u squared, right? Because that's u. So this is going to be u squared, right? Because this whole thing is u, right? That whole thing is u. So this, let me just show you down here if you don't get it. Make it a little bit easier to see. We worked it out. We said that this is x plus 1 to the 1 fifth squared, but that's u, right? But that's our u. So that's how we got that u squared, okay? Right, because 2 times 1 fifth is 2 fifths, the same thing as that, so we're good. And then dx is 5u to the 4th du, so I'm going to pull out that 5, leave the u to the 4th here, and put the du here. All right, let's clean this up. So this is equal to, this is equal to, this is u to the 6, because when you multiply these and the bases are the same, you add the exponents. So let's take that extra step just to show it. So this will be u to the 6th times u to the 5th minus 1 du. So we to be careful here. All right, and then now we can distribute the u to the 6. This is equal to 5 times the integral of u to the 11th minus u to the 6th. Parentheses du. Here we just distributed u to the 6 times u to the 5th. You add the exponents, right? And then u to the 6 times 1 is that. Now we're ready to integrate using the power rule. So this is equal to, I'm going to come over here running out of room. So 5 times adding 1 and dividing by the result. So u to the 12 over 12 minus 5 times adding 1 dividing by the result. u to the 7 over 7 plus c. This is equal to 5 twelfths. What was u? Recall that u was x plus 1 to the 1 fifth, right? That was our u. So we're going to now replace every instance of u with that. So this is x plus 1 to the 1 fifth. 12th power minus 5 sevenths, x plus 1 to the 1 fifth, to the 7th power plus c. Okay? 
So now we're going to multiply using properties of exponents. So we have 12 times 1 fifth, so it'll be 5 twelfths times x plus 1 fifth to the 12 fifths. Kind of a, a fun little symmetry here. Minus 5 sevenths times x plus 1 to the 7 fifths. Again, kind of a fun little relationship there. Plus c, kind of a fun little answer, right? Because you've got the reciprocals here as exponents and coefficients. So, yeah, that's it. Hopefully uh, this has been helpful and you've learned some mathematics. Take care.